three, two, one. Happy New Year! Yay! 2022 has arrived in Times Square, right at the heart of the world's crossroads. The famous and traditional seven-foot numerals have arrived in the plaza. It's up for folks to see and take photos with before they're placed on top of one Times Square underneath the famous New Year's Eve ball. The four numbers 2022 use over 500 LED bulbs and will be in the Times Square Plaza between 46th and 47th streets. Let me tell you a little about these numerals. They're seven feet tall. There's 599 total LED bulbs in those numerals. Uh, I think it's 164 in the zero and 145 in each of the twos that make up the 2022. And what's amazing is that on December 31st, these numerals will be atop one Times Square. And over a billion people will join us around the world as the ball descends and these numerals light up to greet 2022. There's no moment like it. They have been presented by the Times Square Alliance for the big New Year's Eve celebrations. The spread of the Omicron variant has dashed hopes of a more normal holiday season. Reviving restrictions and stretching the country's testing infrastructure ahead of festive season. But in the present situation, New York City is still planning to host crowds. No matter what might change down the wire, the show will still go on for global transmission. We're living in crazy days. You, you, you all knew that, right? These are strange days. And uh, we just think it's fantastic to have moments like this that really kind of bind and reconnect us a little bit. So it's a pleasure to see you all and thank you for your time. Uh, so our new tagline is movement that inspires. The virus spike has caused alarm among public health authorities. The Omicron variant is fast becoming dominant in the United States. There's also the fear of infections spreading like wildfire after the Christmas and New Year holidays. With the new variant in circulation, virus cases are now doubling in one and a half to three days in areas with community transmission. We talked yesterday about the challenges we're facing with Omicron. And I want to just review the basics again because it's so important. Uh, Omicron is a real challenge. It's going to be a very challenging few weeks, but the good news is based on what our healthcare leadership understands at this moment, we are talking about a matter of weeks. We're going to see a, a really fast upsurge in cases. We're going to see a lot of New Yorkers affected by Omicron. So far, thank God, based on everything we've seen far, so far, the cases are more mild than what we've experienced previously. But again, a lot of research we're still waiting for, a lot of evidence we're still waiting for. Indeed, lines for COVID-19 tests go around a whole block. Not just in Times Square, but around New York, Washington, D.C. and other U.S. cities over. Meanwhile, several Broadway productions have cancelled performances as the cast and crew have become infected. If you test positive, there's a lot of help available for you. If you test negative, great. You know you don't have COVID. But getting tested is absolutely crucial and making sure we have enough sites, enough resources, enough test kits. We're working on all these fronts. Omicron appears to be causing milder symptoms in vaccinated populations. And health experts are optimistic that this wave might not cause the same spikes in hospitalizations and deaths as the previous surges did.